scheduled for one fall. Currently in the ring, hailing from parts unknown, with a total combined weight of 577 pounds, Rex Spot the Moon Dog. And their opponent, hailing from the South Pacific, at a total combined weight of 503 pounds, here are the Islanders. All right, Tonga Kid over the top rope. These Islanders are something. Team Tonga, his tag team partner. <laughs> the fans really up for this one. And the Tonga Kid there with King Tonga in the background. The Islanders are nothing short of sensational. But they're going to have their work cut out for them and then some, I think you would agree, Jesse, with the Moon Dog. Oh, yeah, McMahon, this is going to be a good, good matchup because speed you got to give to the Islanders. King Tonga's real powerful, but I'd say for overall power, you got to go with the Moon Dogs. All right, as now, King Tonga starts things off. I believe that's Moon Dog Rex in there, the larger of the two Moon Dogs, and I'm told I believe the last of the litter. <laughs> Not necessarily. All right, now as Moon Dog Rex wraps up the wrist lock, no, nice reversal. And reversal again. Forearm catching King Tonga. Side headlock standing, shoved it a rope now, and a whoop to the far side. Tonga, how about that? Going down. Moon Dog Rex over Tonga, right back at him now, and leap rock by Tonga. Catching him with an elbow right in the sternum. That was a nice move. Indeed. Well, that's where speed really shows you. Now, he's as big as the Moon Dogs, and he's faster. That's where Tonga has the advantage here, you know, Tonga. All right, now the tag is made. The Tonga kid comes in. Now gets Moon Dog spot. Spot cuts him off. Knee lift. Spin around now and whips to the rope. Tonga kid down. Moon Dog spot. Look at this. One over and come over again. And down. By the way, let's take you now to Memphis, Tennessee. And to the Honky Tonk Man. Where are you, Honky Tonk? You know, the Honky Tonk Man, he's all shook up. The Honky Tonk Man was sitting at home, and he was watching the big tube. He was watching it all on TV, and he saw what happened. He saw what Paul Orndorff did to my best buddy, my best friend, Hulk Hogan. And it made the Honky Tonk Man so mad, it made the back of my neck, it made the hair start curling. It made me start shaking all over, but I can tell you this right now, Mr. Wonderful. When the Honky Tonk Man walks in an arena where you are, you're not going to do that to Hulk Hogan. You're not going to do that to anybody else when the Honky Tonk Man around because I can't stand it. I can't take it. A lot of people can't stand it, Jesse, and a lot of people just won't take it. Where on earth did that 1950s grease ball come from? I beg your pardon. Tiger's made now. King Tonga comes in. A couple of kicks and look at these chops is King Tonga goes to work. Moondog Rex. Who with a drop tag? Rex will be feeling that one for some time to come. King Tonga now with Rex into spot. And yes, sir, King Tonga. Bringing these fans up and up again is Moondog Rex. He is tough. He's tough. You gotta, you gotta deliver a, a real shot to take him off his feet. And he got one right there, right in the mush on the butt of the jaw. Oh, look at this now. The Tonga kid perched on the top rope, slammed by King Tonga. Tag was already made. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Yes, indeed. What a leap <laughs> by the Tonga Kid. <laughs> the Tonga Kid and King Tonga, and certainly their actions very much appreciated. Here are your winners, the Islanders. All right, let's go back to the replay. We'll pick this ace extraordinary maneuver up off the top rope. Great teamwork. Here we see King Tonga as he slammed Big Rex the Moon Dog, devastating body slam. He had only made the tag with Tonga Kid and he comes up with that devastating dive from the top rope coming right on top of Rex. And boy, he really came down heavy on him and of course held him down for a one to three count. Unbelievable. All right, yeah, so you can see they're number one, and they could very well be on their way, Jesse, to being number one. What they, do you think? They could very well be, but I want to know something. How come you guys never complain about bad officiated there of not getting Tonga out of the ring after the slam? It was a double-team situation. Well, let me ask you this. Was he picking on Rex? Was he continuing to hammer on Rex? No, he was not. Not at all. So why should the official move or him, maneuver him out? You never call it like it is, McMahon. You never do it. This capacity crowd awaiting the interviews. Stay with us.